Hey, everybody, hope you're tied on for this opening Saturday spring meet edition of Thoroughbred Action here from Gulfstream Park. Jason Blewett joining you from our clubhouse studios. 12 races on the card. Sit tight, everybody, because races 10 and 11 are top shelf all the way. Believe me, they'll be worth the wait. We'll get plenty more, including the track and weather conditions right now. Racing at Gulfstream. Big Treasure and took a cab. The first two out and took a cab. Puts a neck on top. Big Treasure now taken back down at the inside. Dramatic Kitten moves to challenge. Blessed Journey in the lime colors away in the top flight. Perfect enough is widest of all. Highway Flyer into the Vanguard. Then it's back to Punchline, who's two better than Bugatti Steel, who's two in front of Duelist, who races outside of Barbie's King. And it's a gap of another two and a half for the two at the back. They are Stormy Splash and Armando's team. Around the first turn they go. Three across the course here. Highway Flyer on the far outside. Blessed Journey from between horses. Took a cab, holds the rail. Perfect enough is a trip out fourth at 30 to 1. Down at the inside and Dramatic Kitten. Followed three wide by Big Treasure. Rodriguez has hold of Punchline in the Centennial Colors. Racing down toward the inside about five lengths behind. Gap of three to Bugatti Steel. Then comes Barbie's King. Duelist is three wide. Armando's team is four wide. And Stormy Splash at the back. 47 seconds for a half mile. Inside half a mile from the finish as they swing to the far turn. Up front, the battle rages on. Took a cab and blessed journey. Continue to throw punches. Three wide and highway flyer. Fuentes is going to try to thread the needle for Dramatic Kitten. He's now fourth. Up on the outside, Armando's team begins to gain ground. Big Treasure did not go on. Punchline never got any waste place to go. After three quarters and 111 and one, there's now an eighth of a mile to go. Punchline's going to get out now, and here he comes. Here comes Punchline to take on Dramatic Kitten and a cab down the center and duelist in deep stretch. It's duelist and punchline coming on. Duelist to the front. Duelist and Gaff Leon with a patient ride to win it. Dramatic Kitten is second. Third is punchline. Fourth is took a cab in 136 and one. Race two, take two, all set. And uh, they're off. Far outside, Pepe the Hunter was one of the first into stride. So long, Chuck, with his customary early first gear. Here's Jamologister, who wasn't good into stride, but he's up to challenge now. And in fact, Jamologister will take the lead. So long, Chuck beat to the punch while second alongside Pepe the Hunter in third. Two steps, Lou is an early fourth. Gap of three to Dexter Road in stride with he's smoking hot and stretch running millionaire runner. Last of all, as the opening quarter complete to Jamologister. Jamologister leads by a length and a quarter. So long, Chuck is second. Pepe the Hunter is a third now about three lengths behind. Two steps, Lou trying to keep up with the top trio racing in fourth at the inside. Three better than Dexter Road, then he's smoking hot. And millionaire runner tries to get a rally going early with half a mile to the finish. Into the far turn they go, and so long Chuck is the first to move on Jamologister, but moving to him is Peppy the Hunter on the outside. Peppy the Hunter and so long Chuck, the two favorites have kicked on. Jamologister is third, two steps Lou is fourth. Millionaire runner outside of Dexter Road with he smoking hot at the back. 45 and four for a wicked half mile. And with the advantage, it's so long Chuck committed for home now. Peppy the Hunter is still second. Dexter Road starts to close ground here for Fuentes. Third on the outside of two steps Lou, who's toward the rail. Then back to Millionaire runner after three quarters in 110 and one they turn for home Pepe the hunter out in the center now up to take over the lead from so long Chuck who's back to second Dexter Road is an on running third less than a 16th to go Pepe the hunter way out in the center but he's also way out in front it's going to be Dexter Road to try to get second but Pepe the hunter delivers at four to five Dexter Road is second so long Chuck holds third and then millionaire runner and two steps Lou
medication, no problem. Run happy, standing at Claiborne Farm. Throughout the post. And they're up. Clean and level beginning. From the rail, Arch Flyer away much better today, and she's on to put a neck on top. Blame the storm at 70 to 1. going to run with her from second. Tooney Looney out sprinted while third. On the far outside in Princess Averill, Lee Schlanick is between horses as Navarre's toward the rail. Della Gianna's three wide. Driving through at the fence, and long story short, a length and a half better than Snake and Shake. Out wide on the course, it's I'm a ginger at the back with half a mile to the finish. Into the far turn they race. Arch Flyer holds inside position and the lead. Tooney Looney three wide. Blame the storm in the two path. And it's As Navarre trying to race between horses. Long story short is at the rail. Bella Gianna is next. Running home from the back and I'm a ginger. Five sixteenths from home. Tooney Looney is now up to take the lead. Toward the inside long story short. Arch Flyer tries to kick with the leader. On the outside in Princess Averill. Bella Gianna is next. And from the back I'm a ginger. 46 and four for the opening half mile. They're off the turn. They're in the stretch drive. Far outside, I'm a ginger with a full head of steam, but long story short, got the short way home up the inside. Long story short, and Victor LeBron striding to a length and a half lead. I'm a ginger on the outside, takes another run at her in deep stretch. Long story short has the lead, and long story short will win it. Long story short by two in the end. Second, I'm a ginger. Third is Tooney Looney. Close after that, it's a picture between Bella Gianna and Snake and Shake. start for nothing for free who's headed off for the lead ww archie and uno baby bird both on the go and uno baby bird sent forward by panici to take over ww archie is now second and after a smooth getaway nothing for free settles third mighty fast at the inside is now fourth followed by machiavello down at the inside and restless rocker war act is on the far outside third last second last is major schwartzy and the trailer is catch me at noon Past the half mile and moving to the far turn. The opening quarter was robust. 22 and 1. Uno Baby Bird letting it all hang loose. Now strides forward to a three length lead. WW Archie is second. Mighty Fast is at the inside. Back to fourth and nothing for free. War Axe on a move for Fuentes. Now third and gaining ground. Three back to the inside and Restless Rocker. Nothing yet from Major Schwartzy or Catch Me at Noon. Uno Baby Bird has gone awfully quick. And here comes War Act on the outside. Opening half mile was 45 and 1. War Act and Uno. Baby Bird collide. Back to third and WW Archie, then Mighty Fast, top of the lane. War Act has now run by Uno Baby Bird, who did too much too soon. WW Archie's going to try to claim second, but nobody's going to claim War Act. War Act on his way to an easy maiden diploma. Mario Fuentes for Antonio Chaffee. Give it to War Act, 9 to 2 and long gone. Here's Mighty Fast running home for second, and third WW Archie, followed by Uno Baby Bird and Cats Me at Noon. Angelic Nugget and Gadiel Martinez are ready. They're at the post. And they're up. For what it's worth, Little Bella was one of the last into stride. First into stride is Alpice, who's headed off for the early lead. Up on the outside, Gray Manners now moves to claim second. Away in third is Onesie's Dream Domineers in early fourth. Followed fifth by Zip It Jess. Out wide on the course goes Angelic Nugget. Then it's a length and a half to Broadway Peggy, ahead of the two favorites, Moon Eyes, who gets the jump on Little Bella. Rosario has her second last while down toward the inside, and the trailer is a barrio forever. Less than three furlongs to run behind a 21 and two opening quarter. Alpice leads by half a length. Gray Manor's up alongside now second. Two and a half lengths back to Onesies Dream who's now third. Outside of her and running on fourth is Zip It Jess. Looking for this favorite, it's Little Bella the Gray down inside. She'll have to navigate a lot of traffic with less than a quarter of a mile to go. Alpice is 30 to one and still finding. Alpice at the eighth pole leads by three. Gray Manor's is second. Now into the clear, Little Bella with a late say toward the rail and Broadway Peggy. In deep stretch, Alpice is almost home and Al Peace is a 30 to 1 surprise. Broadway Peggy second, Little Bella third, then Onesie's Dream.
Wrap the post. And they're off. Excellent beginning for Trini Flower with Granny Bradley moving to her on the outside. Here's Bardot now rushing between horses, and Bardot's going to take the lead. Away in second is Trini Flower. Up the third goes Cozy Dreams. Outside fourth and Smitten for Smitty. Then it's Granny Bradley together with Running Girl up the rail and Shell Beach Party. Two and a half lengths back to the team of Pass the Time and Awesome New Year. Then back to the inside and Irish Thunder alongside Mayday Info and Ebony Bay is last. It's a three-way scrum past the half-mile point. From between horses, Cozy Dreams. Bardot is along the rail. Three wide. Smitten for Smitty. And these three continue to battle. They've opened four on a fourth running. Granny Bradley. That's all for Trini Flower. Trying to look for something materializing from the back. It's just not doing it right now with 5 16ths to go. Out wide, smitten for Smitty and Mario Fuentes on now to take the lead. Back to second is Bardot. Back to third, Cozy Dreams. Granny Bradley is fourth, emerging from the pack. That was awesome new year to take fifth with less than a quarter of a mile to go. Smitten for Smitty has come away with the lead. Saez working overtime on Bardot from second. Down the stand side, Granny Bradley with awesome new year. Eighth of a mile to go, and it's smitten for Smitty. Smitty at 17 to 1. She's on top and she's clear. Bordeaux is second, but Smitten for Smitty registers an upset. Mario Fuentes on the winner's circle for the second time today. Bordeaux second. Awesome New Year third. Granny Bradley finished fourth. for the Rainbow Six, all set. And they're off. At the inside, Crow Moon is away quickly and up to take the advantage toward the rail. Dark Ages has speed. Slick Star is on the go and Snap Hook ensures a lively tempo. He's now third. Up on the outside, Roddick is an early fifth and he's improving his spot. Two better than Mystical Moon, who's a length and a half in front of King Leonardo. Looking savvy settles in third last. Second last is Blue Sky Kitten and the stretch running favorite. I'm the captain now as last of all, trying to stay in range of a very quick pace. Up front, Slick Star went 22 seconds flat for the opening quarter, and he leads by three parts of a length. Crow Moon is now right back on as Burgos took strong hold of the leader, and these two have five on Roddick, who's a clear third. Outside fourth and Mystical Moon, next is Snap Hook, followed by Dark Ages. Mid-flight for Rosario, and better than eight lengths behind. King Leonardo and Look and Stavi are in lockstep. Outside, and I'm the captain now, and inside, Blue Sky Kitten. We're less than half a mile from home. 45 and 4 for a wicked half mile. It's Crow Moon taking pressure from Slick Star on the outside. Third is Roddick, fourth Mystical Moon, fifth at the inside, and Snap Hook. On from six, that's Dark Ages, then King Leonardo and looking savvy. I'm the captain now, does have a big stretch kick, but he's a long way behind, and it looks like he'll have to cover some ground too as Dark Ages is the first to move on the outside. Dark Ages to the top of the stretch has the lead after three quarters in one ten and one. With the advantage, it's Roddick who turns first. Roddick now by two, Dark Ages to the attack for Rosario, then Mystical Moon. I'm the captain now, just not picking up his feet at least not in time to get anything as the leader is Roddick. Roddick close to home with the lead. It's another upset at Goldstream. It's Roddick on the board at 20 to 1. Mystical Moon second, Dark Ages third, then Snap Hook. start for Here Comes Jackie. 
Good start for Miss Headley, who'd set it off for the lead. A Yolanda's Pride moves to take second from the outside and Oblio's Wishes in early third. Ghostly Beauty strides into fourth in the two path with Lady Panda toward the rail and out three wide, let's be honest. In the blue colors, after a less than stellar getaway, as here comes Jackie. Out the back door early, the trailer is Hottie Toddy. And the charge around the first turn, Oblio's Wish is now on to put a neck in front. Miss Headley is alongside second. Rosario back Yolanda's Pride into a good position. Third, about two and a half lengths off the embattled duo. From fourth, that's Ghostly Beauty inside and Lady Panda. Then here comes Jackie. Let's be honest, is the gray while second last. And the trailer is the stretch running. Hottie Totty. Less than five eighths to run. And the advantage belongs to Oblio's Wish on top by two. Miss Headley second. Yolanda's Pride is now third, followed fourth by Lady Panda. Ghostly Beauty is up alongside her. Length and a half back to here comes Jackie, who's next toward the rail, outside and let's be honest, and the trailer is Hottie Totty. 47 and three for a half mile speed as they leave the backstretch and move on to the far turn. It's Oblio's Wish, hounded now by Yolanda's Pride, who's a three wide mover on the outside. Four wide Ghostly Beauty, Lady Panda looks for some place to go toward the inside. That's here comes Jackie, who's backpedaling as they move past the quarter mile pole. Three quarters, one 11 and one, they're at the top of the stretch. Oblio's Wish floats wide off the corner and challenges by Yolanda's Pride. You're on the far outside in Ghostly Beauty. Final eighth of a mile, Yolanda's Pride, Lady Panda and Ghostly Beauty beauty kick on it's Yolanda's pride digging in lady panda right alongside it's lady panda to the top lady panda wins Yolanda's pride second ghostly beauty third then hotty totty and here comes jackie Field of seven, all set for the late pick four. And they're off. Maserati man and silvery enough the first two out, but there goes Mo beat you bad, and he's on to take a clear advantage. Mo beat you bad leads to the backstretch run. He leads by a length and a quarter over Inter Miami in second. Silvery enough third. Maserati man's in early fourth. Back to fifth in cigar box. The two at the back are Peruvian boy and uncaptured king. Past the half mile point and moving to the far turn. Mo beat you bad on the inside. Inter Miami on the outside. They're in a hot and heavy duel for the top. They lead two and a half on Silvery Enough, who's attacking on third. Maserati man tries to stay with him. Three at the back. Peruvian boy, uncaptured king, and cigar box as these leaders continue to rumble. Five sixteenths from home. They're going to be four across the course here. Three wide. Silvery Enough gets first run on the speed. Maserati man's on his back. Inter Miami and Mo beat you bad have been at each other. They fried each other. From the back in Peruvian boy through a 45 and four half mile. Off the turn and the stretch drive, silvery enough. He has the lead, Maserati man. Moves to him on the outside, now second. These two showing off their speed with an eighth of a mile left to go. Maserati man up on the outside of silvery enough for the top. Maserati man, silvery enough, digs in. Silvery enough, turned him away. Maserati man was out kicked late by silvery enough. They put on a show, well clear of uncaptured king and Peruvian boy. And they're up. Good start inside for Croy, who's headed off for the early lead. Penalty moves up on the outside to challenge. And now from the far outside, there goes Halliday. Halliday into the top flight and the charge to the first turn. Racing in third is Class and Cash with Regally Irish next in tight toward the rail is Dr. Shane. Alongside him goes both Thunder Ride and floating a bit wide on the corner was my Taiwan on as they take it now to the far turn. With the advantage, first turn rather, with the advantage, it's Halliday. Halliday is on top and he leads into the stretch for the back stretch for the first time. McCroy is second. Cass and Cash is third. Regal Irish is on from fourth. Thunder Ride is an early fifth. He's out wide on the course. Then it's a length and a half to penalty together with Dr. Shane. My Taiwan on is next ahead of Colonist and first Premio, the race favorite. He's unhurried at this stage. He's last of all to the opening quarter of 23 and three and a half mile and a strong 46 and one. Into the far turn they go with Halliday, then they 
eight leader. He leads the length and a quarter. Croy races from second. Class and Cash is now third. Regally Irish is on from fourth. Penalty is going to have to go four wide. Dr. Shane is next alongside Thunder Ride. First Premio starts to launch a bid, but he's still a long way behind. And Halliday is cruising at this stage. Halliday and Luis Saez is off the turn through a three-quarter time of 108 and four. He's got him on the ropes here with an eighth of a mile to get. Halliday two lengths on top. Croy is game, and he's trying to run at him from the back in penalty in class and cash. But as they come home for the wire, it's a complete game victory for Halliday. He went all the way to win by three and a half. Croy is second, penalty is third, then class and cash in first premium. beginning for Sonneman and Tomcat Black was shut off as Diamond and Joy broke to the inside. Good start for the big favorite. I'll fight Dempsey right alongside his master day. Ralston's between horses. Golden Candy makes it a party. They're four across the course early. A gap of three to Acre, who settles in two better than Diamond's and Joy. And after early trouble, the trailers are Tomcat Black and Sonneman. They complete the opening quarter mile with I'll fight Dempsey in front to half a length. Ralston is their second. Master Day's on the outside third. Golden Candy is an early fourth. It's a gap of another five to the team of Acre and Diamonds and Joy. Then Tomcat Black and Sonneman. They move on to the far turn. I'll fight Dempsey, taking blows every step of the way. He leads by a neck. Ralston is their second. Master Day, a three wide third. Golden Candy trying to improve with an inside lane. A gap of three to Diamonds and Joy and Tomcat Black dropping back a bit as Acre and Sonneman still last. 44 and 4 for the opening half mile. All fight Dempsey still the target. On the outside, Ralston is right alongside second. Three back to Golden Candy third. Less than a quarter of a mile to go. Ralston, he's running a huge race, and he just took over from All Fight Dempsey. At the inside in Golden Candy, a late run from last in Sonneman. In deep stretch, Ralston still with work to do. He's all heart. Sonneman's gaining. Golden Candy is gaining, but Sonneman's gaining best. Sonneman from last to first to win under Joel Rizzo. Rosario, very close for second. Maybe Golden Candy over Ralston in 123 and three. away. Good start for Avenida Manana and a good start for Isadora Balaida, who's hunting the rail position, moving up between horses and Yako. Sweet story into the top flight, and she's taken a strong hold. Out wide and paint the corners, dropping over a bit as Trilby. Down at the rail goes much about it. Bahama Kittens in the two path. Night Watch worked over from the 11 post to the three path. Vineyard Nina's at the rail. The two at the back are Vitami and Amazing Audrey. Around the first turn they go, Avenida Manana on top by two. Yako second is adorable Adorbalita at the inside third. Paint the corners is wide while racing in fourth, and Rosario has a strong hold of Sweet Story. She's in the black and white colors between horses. Much about it is at the rail, followed by Bahama Kitten and Vineyard Nina. Then it's back to Trilby. Night Watch is now at the rail third last. Vitami is second last, and Amazing Audrey is last of all with half a mile to the finish. 
24 and 4 for a very reasonable opening quarter speed. It's Avenida Manana bidding to win again. She went 49 and 1 for a half mile, and she's into the far turn on top. Yako second, paint the corners third. Isadora Belita is sequestered at the rail in fourth, followed in the two path by Sweet Story. She's been tugging throughout and still needs some place to race. Out wide in Bahama Kitten launching a bid as Trilby held up in traffic. Vineyard Nina as they run to the top of the stretch. Avenida Manana trying to stretch him out here after three quarters. In 112 and 4, she turns for home on top. Trying to angle for racetrack is Sweet Story. Paint the corners is next. Is adorable Belita toward the rail. Late run down the center from Bahama Kitten. Eighth of a mile to go and it's all about Avenida Manana. She's still in front. Up into second is Bahama Kitten. That's as far as she'll get. Avenida Manana wins again. Second is Bahama Kitten. It's close for third between Paint the Corners and Trilby. 136 and 2. And that'll do it for day number three. We're back in action here tomorrow afternoon. It'll be day number four of the spring meet. An 11 race Sunday card has a regular start time of about 105 Eastern. And we hope you join us here at Gulfstream Park. Good night, everybody. Hit the hay. Hit the hay. I've been working all day. Hit the hay. Hit the hay. What do you say? Hit the hay. 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 Well, I'm tired. Let me tell you, Jack, I'm so tired.